Good morning, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is good morning with me. This morning, um, a tech issue I thought was a little more than the awesome cast tech sec uh, could really kind of contain. And uh, I am no expert. I will put this up. I am no expert to begin with. Net neutrality has been a very confusing topic for me. But I think it's uh, very uh, obvious today it was a good step in the right direction uh, for what's going on. So the FCC, what has happened? What has happened while I was sleeping, sleep working yesterday? I didn't discover this until late last night. Uh, apparently, according to The Verge, we won the internet back, guys! Woo! This is the part where I wish I had balloons to drop from the ceiling and everything, but that's okay. It's a little preemptive anyways, because, well, it, it, the fight's not over, guys. Uh, what has happened is the FCC has uh, uh, announced and proposed, or whatever the terminology may be, uh, that... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I just saw the article uh, about a year ago when we first started talking about uh, this aspect of it. Um, and to paraphrase, there was an article called The Internet is F. Um, they don't use that word. But uh, anyways, what has happened is FCC moved to reclassify broadband as a telecommunications service under Title II of the Telecommunications Act. This has been something that they've been talking about doing, saying maybe we won't do. Basically, the FCC knows they're going to get their pants suit off if they do this uh, by the telcos, which you know includes like AT&T, Verizon, uh, now Comcast as an internet provider. Um, what does that mean? Let me, okay, first of all, if you don't know anything about this, the best aspect to go through is not me. Look up uh, Net Neutrality and John Oliver on uh, YouTube, uh, he he's 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 really taking his platform on HBO, HBO to tackle issues that maybe um, we have not really paid much attention to. And I love there's actually there's actually like they, they list the videos. Uh, well, not just that, like uh, some of the biggest issues that they have here on the Verge that he's tackled on HBO. Um, definitely were very very educational. For one thing, but if you go check that out, I mean, it's all on YouTube. Um, they're, they've been very open about this. I mean, it's just been just a great show. Um, but he does uh, uh, tackle net neutrality, really kind of puts it in a perspective that most can understand from a British gentleman, mind you, uh, to the point where uh, <laughs> that uh, he called the chairman, I think it was the chairman of the FCC, um, a, a baby eating dingo, to the point where he has had to respond. To the press, by the way, I am not a dingo. This happened. This happened, guys. Anyways, aside from that, that's a whole other phenomenon that, uh, that, that we could do a whole other episode on uh, with John Oliver on uh, last week tonight on HBO. But uh, basically, what does this mean with Title II? Um, t this, right now, and this is one of those things like about, Bell, you can look at, uh, you know, Ma Bell getting broken up, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Years and years ago, um, basically, you know, the idea that uh, the telephone providers can't stop you from who you talk to. Like your voice line is pretty much a, uh, a you know, equal opportunity, I guess. Uh, and what this is going to do for the internet, uh, as far as I understand, one uh, take away a little bit of the anti-competitive. Basically, your internet is going to become a utility. I know that's not. The uh, I know that's not the clear cut way to say that, um, but it's going to be more like a utility. And and the surprise is this includes wireless car carriers, because a lot of times, um, you know, you notice your bill for your wireless carrier if you have an iPhone is a lot different than your bill for Comcast for internet or for Verizon FiOS for internet, um, because they have different rules and they can do different things. And they were the most in danger of violating net neutrality and doing things like, um, okay, this music service, um, we're not gonna count these packets, this data for this music service that we're providing and have a deal with uh, to your uh, data pool that you have, right? Um, that's treating that different than other bits of the internet. Um, this, and this could have gone you know, to the point where, um, you know, they, they've talked about if you were in Comcast and uh, they could sell you a package with faster access or access at all to something like a Netflix, on top of what you pay Netflix, or to Yahoo, or to Google you know, services, or YouTube, or something like that, something that's free generally. But it's like, well, we'll guarantee your packets actually get there. 
you know, in due time and, and redirect them and treating those packages with a little more scrutiny. Um, I don't think they're allowed to do that kind of thing under these provisions uh, immediately. And again, these are not, this is just a proposal. This is not in effect yet. This will get, uh, you know, negotiated before it gets signed off on. And, and uh, I'm sure, and already I'm sure the telcos are going to have a major, major response to this. They already have on their bloggy blogs. Um, but the other big thing and really BS thing that's happened, um, definitely here in the state of Pennsylvania and other places as well. Um, a lot of times, you know, you know, if you're out and you're not in a city, and even in the city, a lot of times, I know a lot of people in the in Silicon Valley or the northern Silicon Valley. I got John Oliver pointing at me off screen. Um, they they suffer from I just have Comcast and there's no other choice really for internet. Um, and in some cases, communities have put together internet services for their communities. That was redundant. Anyways, and those have been shut down. There's a state passed here, and notoriously Comcast is based in Philadelphia, and, uh, you know, I'm sure gives a lot, lot, lot money to uh, the governor, the past governor or two, probably, um, and has had those rules passed, basically outlawing community internet. This could be a community Wi-Fi. Um, I'm guessing that mesh network up in Allentown that we talked to uh, Josh Lucas of the hardware store might be under suspicion if that gets a little too big for something like that. I think we did discuss that a little bit when we had him on Awesome Cast several months ago. Um, and so this will delete or supersede, hopefully, those laws state by state that Verizon and Comcast has been pushing through and lobbying. And, and stomping on the little guys. The other thing that happens, and this is something that has had, will, is in the process and, 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 and going hand in hand with this, I think is gonna be very, very important, is the uh, reclassification of broadband from I think it was four megabytes a second to 25. So if you're sitting there on a plan and some people, uh, the fellow that uh, tried to give me a video file that took him most of the day on Dropbox, is certainly not classified under his Comcast connection as broadband anymore. Think about that. It used to be, I don't think it was even four megabytes. I think it was like a megabyte. Have you been on a connection? Have you been to a coffee shop? You go to speedtest.net and you see like about a megabyte, two megabytes? You re do you remember how, how, how it felt like it took forever? Let's be honest, with the applications they have for the internet these days, with their YouTube, even just getting around, I mean, how much, you know, if you're in social media in Hootsuite, if you're uh, uh, doing your Squarespace site where you're designing in a web live, communicating with a server, um, you're doing Facebook, again, communicating live with a server somewhere, and, and, and that's not a good, good clip, that just kills any of those services. Think of any time where you don't have, when you have less than stellar uh, mobile internet, that happens. So now we're looking at, do I have broadband? Well, I do. I, I know I have Fios. I know I have 25 up and down most of the time. <laughs> uh, and I, I know I have broadband from there. Some of you guys have 10. Some, and I, I, The other thing I don't know, and, 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 and I'll have to look at this. I don't know if that's both ways. Is it 25 up and down, or is it just the download speed of 25? Maybe it can still you know, throttle you on the upload speed. And, and granted, most people don't need that upload speed. Um, until they're sending files to YouTube. Um, I mean, it's kind of becoming a both way thing when you're playing Call of Duty, right? Because you gotta think a lot of times they give you that download speed. How do, how can I get a file? How can I get that YouTube, right? What is that speed? But when you're sending stuff out to the server has become so much more important in the last several years. If you're sending a video file to YouTube, you're sending a video file to me for work we have to do uh, on Dropbox or, or Google Drive, uh, which I utilize so, so much. Um, Data caps. I'm wondering if data caps are going. Data caps, I think, are not covered under this. Um, I, very, I, I feel very fortunate. I do have Verizon files. I don't have a data cap because, oh, my, OMG, am I going to uh, uh, just obliterate those on a daily basis? 250 megabytes, forget it, or gigabytes, or whatever it is for a month, forget about it. That's like a week for me, if that, the way that I put stuff up lately. Um, hey, 15 gigabyte file, here you go. <laughs> Um, but anyways, very exciting times. I mean, it's not done. The fight's not over, but there's a huge, huge, I think, uh, blow uh, against telcos. And, and, and really, seeing that the FCC is uh, 
really kind of sticking up for the consumer and maybe not so much in the back pocket like we always threaten it to be. We'll see what happens. It could have just be, they could be just parading this in front of us and then they can blame uh, AT&T later when it doesn't go through for making such a stink and suing them. This is the world we live in. But uh, let me know what you think about the situation, where we're at with this. I know, I know I'm not the expert on this. I definitely recommend uh, Daily Tech News Show with Tom Merritt. Uh, they actually played a clip from 2007 on Buzz Out Loud on CNET. Uh, where I've been following Tom Merritt since then. I can't believe it, you know, uh, at, at least. Um, and, uh, and, and they have a pretty good breakdown of what's going on and a good discussion about that. Check out today's episode of that. Uh, this is Thursday, uh, what, February 5th today. Um, so with that, uh, let me know what you think of the new, the new net neutrality um, Title II announcement. And uh, did we really win the internet back? Or is this just the first step of a long, long, long road? Let me know on social media at Sorgatron on this video if you're on the YouTube or on the blog at Sorgatron.com. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.